Hi, I'm Sarvesh, and in this video, you discuss on some corporate actions and the impact of that those in the share prices. Before that, you would see some basic terms of the some share price. Each share has a face value that is a fixed value, maybe one or two or five or ten or maybe even hundred. And this is this value does not change with fluctuations of the market. You could say this is the cost of the share. Mentioned in the certificates or share certificates all. Generally, if you take the share price that comprises of the face value and a premium. Suppose you have a share for hundred rupees, the face value is ten, and the premium should be at ninety rupees. Then this face value is used for giving dividends or some stock splits, which you would see later in this video. Now, market value is the present trading price, and book value is when suppose let us assume the company is. Selling all its assets and clearing all its debts, and whatever the profits they are getting, and they are giving it to the shareholders. They are sharing it, and the what amount each share will get that is called as a book value. And now we will see about dividends. Suppose the company is making good profits and it has a excess cash flow, and it wants to give some cash to its shareholders. They give it as dividends. And it might be around one percent, two percent, or five percent, or anything, whatever the company wishes. Suppose a share price is thousand rupees, and company wishes to give twenty rupees as dividend, and share the shareholders can get twenty rupees to their demat account, but the share price in the market would change to nine eighty rupees. And for this, there is a four dates: declaration date, ex date, date of record, and pay date. On declaration day, the company announces that they are ready to give dividends on this particular day, and they announce the remaining days. And date of record is uh, the rec the company records the shareholders who are owning their shares to give their dividends. And ex date is two days before the date of record. By the ex date, you should be having the company shares in your. You should be having the company shares. You should be buying it, so you could get dividends. And pay date is a day, maybe around thirty to forty days uh, later to date of record. On this day, the dividends is paid to your uh, demat account. Sorry, trading account. Now next is bonus issues. Now this the company is offering some additional shares to the shareholders. Suppose they comes in some basic ratios like one is to one, two is to one, three is to one, etc. Suppose if we take two is to one ratio, you get additional two shares for every one shares you are holding. So here is the table where you could see uh, of bonus issues. Suppose if we take one is to one, now initially you are having hundred shares. And share price is around seventy five rupees. That means you could say invest is seventy five into hundred. Investment value would be seven thousand five hundred. But after the bonus, you are getting two additional shares for every one. Sorry, one additional share for every one share hold. So now your share should be two hundred shares. Hundred plus additional bonus of hundred. But your investment value should remain same. So that the share price would fall by. Fifty percent from seventy five falls to thirty seven point five, and investment value remains same. Similar cases you could see for three is to one and five is to one, and how the share price falls, but you get additional shares. Next is stock split. This is uh, very similar to bonus, but in bonus the face value would remain same, but in this uh, the the face value would change. Suppose if there is a face value of stock is ten rupees and there is one is to two stock split, then face value would be rupees five. And similarly, your stock should increase. If you have one one share, it would become two share. If there is split of one is to two, that is one is changing into two. Now here is a table where you could see a split ratio of one is to two, and the old face value is ten. Number of share is hundred rupees hundred, and share price is nine hundred. The investment value is ninety thousand, 
but we have one is to two, so face value is divided by two, that is five. And similarly, now share after split is share is splitted into two, so hundred would become two hundred. Share price is half, so investment value remains same. Similarly, we could see for one is to five, how face value of ten is becomes to two. And another thing which I have uh, forget to say in dividends, a company announces some 10% or 20% dividend. That percentage comes from the face value. Suppose the face value is 10 rupees and company announces 20% dividend. That means 2 rupees of the face, that 20% of 10 rupees is 2 rupees. So you will get 2 rupees as dividends. And that percentage doesn't involve the market price. And now after the stock split, we would see rights issue. This is another thing when companies need to raise some additional capital, they uh, issue some addition, they ask that uh, existing shareholders to get additional shares. Like suppose if there is one is to four rights issue for every four shares a shareholder holds, he can subscribe to an additional share. But this would be given at some discounted price. And by this, the company could raise some additional capital. And this could be considered some second IPO. And recently, what we have seen, that is some stock split or bonus issues. All these are done to reduce the price of shares so that they could get some more investors, new investors for some uh, lower prices. If the price is high, then their investors would be low. Next is the buyback of shares. Now, suppose a company wants to as the less stake in the company and wants to get its shares, more shares from the market, from people or investors, it could buy back the shares at some prices what they prefer. And the reasons for buyback is to improve their profitability. And suppose the stake of the promoters and companies slow to increase that they used to buy back from the market and to prevent other companies from taking over their company because if they have less percentage of stake, the other companies could take over it. And if they're buying it back, it gives confidence to the investors that this company is making some good profit and so they're buying it back. If they're making loss, there's no use of buying the shares back, right? There's no, there's no uh, so we could consider that buying back is some positive sign for the market. And suppose if the share price is declining due to some news or something, but the company is good and they think they could buy it back and uh, uh, sustain it at a good price and to stop it from declining further. These are some reasons. And that's it for this video. See you all in the next video.